Women have been challenged to take more active roles in negotiating for better pay in their workspaces. The United Nations Women Deputy Regional Director, Anna Mutavati, acknowledges that there is need to empower women to have these conversations to bridge the gender pay gap. She made the remarks during the launch of the report by UN Women dubbed Why Women Are Less. The UN Women Eastern Southern Africa report conducted between 2017 to 2022 by UN Women Global indicates that women earn 81 cents less for every one dollar and by men monthly for the same amount of work. This translates to women earning 82 shillings compared to the male counterparts at 100 shillings in the two regions. We need to see how the numbers look like in our regions to take this forward, to make, to advocate for policymakers, to advocate in the private sector, in civil society, with the media, within all spheres, to actually close the gender pay gap. The survey that covered 10 countries, including Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda, Ethiopia, Mozambique, Namibia, Rwanda, Mauritius, Malawi, and South Africa indicate that women are paid 53% lower in domestic work, 25% and 6.7% lower in education, health, and social work respectively compared to men. It could be a reflection of the value that society puts on women's work overall. Um, where that even when men come into a feminized sector uh, or a feminized occupation, they tend to get paid more than men. It is, it is an issue because these are sectors where um, even women's work is not valued, but men's work is valued more. With age, education, marital status and type of job used as a factor to determine the pay, women are being called upon to embrace higher paying courses to bridge the gender pay gap. How do we also promote learning? of um, STEM sciences and courses, technology by uh, young women so that we start closing that gap in terms of higher paying jobs. Doreen Arange for Prime Edition.